Assalamu alaikum respected doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and bds lectures today is the 10th video of repeat revision course of removable partial denture prosthodontics which is very important for nle exam mds as well as for final year exam in this video we will discuss about rpi and rpa concept now rpi and rpa concept is actually the modification of i bar system first we will discuss about rpi concept now in rpi and rpa in now in both rpi and rpa concept there are three things three component number one r mean r mean mesial rest P mean proximal plate and in RPI, I mean I bar. But in RPA, A mean acres clasp or circumferential clasp. But in RPI, I mean, uh, I mean bar clasp or gingivally approaching clasp. Now first we start from RPI concept. RPI concept is the modification of I bar retainer system which we already discussed uh, in the ninth video proposed by F.J. Crochwell. It was first developed by A.J. Kroll uh, in 1973. This design concept was based on principle of minimizing stress by minimal tooth and gingival coverage mean this design concept was based on principle of minimizing stress by minimal tooth and gingival, gingival coverage it consists of mesial rest proximal plate and eye bar look at this diagram there is a mesial rest proximal which uh, are given on the mesial surface and proximal plate and the eye bar now uh, look at uh, figure 16.25 RPI concept there is a mesial rest on mesial surface proximal plate and I bar now uh, the mesial rest extend only in the triangular fossa even in the molar preparation mean the mesial rest extend only into the triangular fossa uh, because uh, we uh, because this concept was based on principle of minimizing stress by minimal tooth coverage therefore the mesial rest uh, rest extend only in the triangular posa even in the molar preparation in canine region it is confined to the mesial marginal ridge in the form of concave circular depression and not to the entire marginal ridge the guide plane is prepared above two to 3 mm high occlusal gingivally and the proximal plate contact only 1 mm of the guide plane in the gingival region. In gingival region, the uh, proximal plate contact only 1 mm. The reduction of the proximal plate is believed to improve the gingival health. Why we reduce the proximal plate in gingival area? Only 1 mm to improve the gingival health. I bar is designed as a port shape to allow more tooth coverage. It is placed more toward the mesial embrasure. Uh, look at on the teeth. The I bar is more toward mesial embrasure, not toward distal. It is placed more toward the mesial embrasure space so as to improve the reciprocation. Functional forces on the distal extension base tend to disengage the retentive tip into the mesial embrasure space. Therefore, it is also called the self-releasing clasp. Now come to the indications of RPI concept. RPI concept is indicated in tooth supported and distal extension partial dentures now come to the contraindications there are three contraindications number one tilted abutment teeth if there is tilted abutment teeth we cannot give our pack except why because 
due to eye bar second contraindication is the shallow vestibular depth because eye bar is also known as gingivally approaching crest if again there is a shallow vestibule again RPI concept is contraindicated next is the excessive soft tissue undercut if there is excessive soft tissue undercut again the because it is contraindication of gingivally approaching class or eye bar class and same here eye bar is present in the RPI concept now come to the RPA concept now remember the condition where RPI is contraindicated uh, in that situation RPA is indicated mean contraindication of RPI concept is indication of RPA concept now RPA concept this concept was proposed by Kroll uh, Roll in 1918 it consists of same mesial mesioclusal rest proximal plate and here there is a acres class main circumferential class not eye bar here is a eye bar but here is the uh, acres class the retentive component of the circumferential, circumferential class arise from the proximal plate adjacent to the edentulous area mean the retentive component of circumferential class arise from the proximal plate look at arise from the proximal plate the retentive component with retentive arm adjacent to the edentulous area mean there is a near mean uh, uh, adjacent to the edentulous area the retentive arm approach above the height of contour mean when they approach when they move above the height of contour and the retentive terminal of the retentive arm engage below the height of contour into the undercut which is located away from individual space on the facial surface here the reciprocal arm contact the lingual surface mean the reciprocal arm mean the opposite arm contact the lingual surface mean the retentive arm contact the facial surface and reciprocal arm contact the lingual surface now come to the indications of rpi rpa concept mean indication of RPA concept is the contraindication of RPI concept. Number one, tilted or tipped or tilted abutment. If there are uh, if there is tilted abutment or tipped abutment, we give RPA concept, not RPI concept. Second, if there is a soft tissue undercut, third, if there is a shallow vestibular space, fourth, retentive undercut is located away from area. If retentive undercut is located away from edentulous area we give rpa concept now what are the contraindications contraindication of rpa concept is that where aesthetic is the prime concern because uh, the um, circumferential clasp uh, circumferential clasp cover more to the surface there will be an aesthetic uh, problem to patient because due to more coverage of tooth and this will be more visible in the oral cavity now this is all about rpi and rpa concept in last video of uh, rapid revision course of removal partial lecture we will discuss about indirect retainer then our rpd course will be complete now, if you like my video, press the like button and share this video with your friends. If you are new to my channel, subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. And also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification. For watching my videos, I am very thankful to you. Thank you very much.